This tutorial shows the use of the interp1 function for 1D interpolation between given data points. The vectors x and y represent the data that will be used in the following examples. The function interp1, as used here, predicts the value of y at a given x using linear interpolation between the original data points. The first input into the function interp1 is the vector x representing the data on the x-axis. The second input into the function interp1 is the vector y representing the data on the y-axis. The third input into the function interp1 is the variable xi given representing the point at which the y-data needs to be predicted. The fourth input into the function interp1 is the string linear representing the interpolation method to be used. The output yi given represents the interpolated value at the corresponding point xi given. This is the value of y as predicted at x equals 5.6 using linear interpolation between the given data points. A vector xp is created as a sequence of numbers as shown. The function interp1 predicts the values of y at given values of x using linear interpolation between the original data points. The output yp represents the interpolated values at the corresponding points in xp. This graph represents the interpolated linear curve for the given data. The function interp1 is used here to predict the value of y at a given x using cubic interpolation between the original data points. The function interp1 is used here to predict the values of y at given values of x using cubic interpolation. This graph represents the interpolated cubic curve for the given data. The function interp1 is used here to predict the value of y at a given x using spline interpolation between the original data points. The function interp1 is used here to predict the values of y at given values of x using spline interpolation. This graph represents the interpolated spline curve for the given data. Thank you for using MATLAB Marina.